recording by getting your ass kicked in. Indeed. Hello, everyone. I'm Rania Como. Argus here with me, laughing at my being bad as usual. And this Suffer. is Lamorana. And this tablet here says. The contents of the chest go to the one who already holds them high. Gee, I wonder what, what it could be that we already have. Yeah, I just wanted to get that before I forgot again. Speaking of things mm -hmm. we forgot. We've had the seal to open this thing for... A while now... Perhaps... I forgot I had switched to the knife preemptively. I don't remember if... Yep, that thing... Can that reset? I mean... This guy's eyes are off now, so... Hmm. Oh well, whatever. At least the wall remained broken. Pyramid crystal. Acquired. Alright, I can shift off of the knife now. And the other things we forgot. Remember how there was this beam of blinding light here as well that we couldn't cross and all of that. Yeah, we can do that now. Hmm. Let's do that now. What could go wrong, right? Yeah. The code of ancient times lies within the twins. It will be revealed by the accumulated power of ancient storms. Oh yeah, because the code is out there, but we still need the storm vessel to actually open the chest. Hmm. Hmm. I don't remember if we've spoken to that one, so let's do it. Euridus. I know the secrets of the underworld. In the underworld, there is a ferryman called Charon. He was once punished for allowing a living poet to cross into the underworld because he was moved by the poet's heart. And for a single coin, he will take you across the river. Man, he's a cheap bastard. You could say so. Can I scan this one? Doesn't seem like it. Can probably scan that one though. Fire, water. What's over here anyway? Not much we can do. Doesn't look like I can break that either, so I guess that's a later thing. Yep. Oh yeah, that guy. I guess I got this counting. That or there isn't a... Or is somewhere else. Is it gonna witch? Talking dragon. Zombified form of a dragon skeleton. It was created by Orthrus, Or Orthrus and Typhon to guard the Nimian lion. A valuable sample of the Chimera experiments. Fun. <clears throat> Speaking of Chimera, the first Chimera was successfully created by the third children named Chimera in honor of that achievement. Wow, real inventive there, kids. Yeah. His body is been assembled carelessly and is rather unclear whether he can still be called a living being. He's made up of several creatures which now only have the instinct to fight. Faya. A child born to Orthrus and Echidna of the Gigas. She gained the ability to meld minds of the wild boar without the technology to chimera experiments. The combination of the separate entities of the girl and wild boar together make up Faya. Okay then. And Earthus. A warrior to Gigas who once led his people in the battle against the Olympians. However, he was defeated and drifted into Egalana with no more desire to fight. 
How much fight do you have in you before the fight's kicked out of you? Well, he has enough clearly. And yeah, it seems that we probably will not be getting the FA this just yet. Also. <clears throat> Ah, oh, shit. So, so she's also a chakram. This is my shop. The shop of Fairyland. Filled with wonders. Yeah, an angel shield? yeah, we're gonna need to save up a bit. But speaking of saving <laughs> up... And other things I can afford now. I should probably unequip that. Probably. Ugly ass piece of shit. What the armor? Yeah. Yeah, well. Oh, that that's new. You weren't here before. That's not ominous at all, is it? Hmm. How many times are you gonna fall into the same trap? Doesn't really matter. That fairy can wait. Because I need to go over here. And by this thing. Ching! Now, there's an extra zero! <laughs> So you can now afford that much. <laughs> What's up with your dad anyway? He ignored my request and you showed up instead. What's he doing bringing his, bringing his dad here? Your dad and grandpa being in the same field and whatnot. They used to be real competitive about their research and stuff. I mean, yeah, we thought. We could tell. Your dad would usually end up getting his, his results ripped off by your grandpa and would always get super pissed about losing. I guess child really breeding in the Kosugi family is also kinda like a test of parents, huh? Oh yeah, maybe he came to watch over you, and then, you know, rip off your research. What a weird ass family. I mean... Like father, like son, like daughter, maybe? Well, potentially. Mean... Huh? Yeah, potentially. I mean... Uh, Shaw also... Uh... Helped out Lamenza. Yeah. No, discreetly. Hmm. And no. it's one of the main reasons he made it out of the ruins, if only so he could st steal the, the treasure of life. Yeah. But you know, there is one more thing we have to do here, and I teleported to the wrong place. Well done! That guy's also new. He doesn't like you. Remember this place. What in the fuck is that thing in the wall? You know what? No. Fuck you, lava. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, I can. I can still swim. Oh yeah, I can do this. This is a laser beam. Yeah, instead of my instead of shurikens or whatever secondary. Come on. Bye. We. Ha ha ha! 
Ah, oh, this is an item shop! Really? I would never guess. Mm-hmm. This is Space Capster. It's a game app. What is so funny? You, your face. <laughs> All right, and because I have Bashra, I can also attack faster with this as well. <laughs> Back in the lava! Let's get in the lava! Well, you're not getting those. It's fine. Okay then. It was kind of the point. No, where? No, I will highly recommend teleporting out. And there's the hint. Abandon your desires. You're supposed to yeah. just break all the pots. And yeah. yeah. Uh, there we go. So we're gonna need to go right back in. Yes. But you would be ill-served doing it with that little help. Yep. Alright. At least getting there was much faster this time. <laughs> All right, outing breaks <laughs> because of course it does. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> Worth it. What even the fuck is that thing? Ow. Right. Can you uh, even hit it with that? I thought I could, but apparently not, so I guess I'm on equipment for that and. Uh huh. You're kind of... Dying. Dying. Yeah, that was my bad for thinking that I could use the suit. I mean, maybe I still can and I just don't remember how. It's so nice that we recover fast and right? <laughs> You don't say. Giving myself shit now. <laughs> oh, come on. Just, just there. <laughs> Should have done that from the beginning. Actually, no. clearly cannot. So it would seem. What? Hammer's charged. It has. 
three chargers. You probably just got hit by the bird. Maybe. That's not carefully. This is a bit difficult. <laughs> I know I technically God. could. I know I technically could just came over and respawn quickly, but I want to keep whatever money I get. <laughs> but you yeah. are filled with determination. That too. Why are you filled with determination? What if it's both? What do you mean it's determination? Clearly, it is determination. Fuck you too, game. Poisonous leather will melt even the ice cloak. Brave it with guard that will withstand any heat. No shit! Gee! Just say fuck it. Okay, now what the fuck was that? Mm hmm? Do we even have a codex entry on that? We have oh, a codex entry. That. Zulong. A monster with a long serpent-like body and the head of a human. In the legends of ancient China, it can control day and night and even the seasons. Actually, it is a subspecies of a large snake that can extend over cliffs to catch its prey. And it's fucking disgusting. Yep. We have that. This guy. An invader from the furthest parts of the galaxy, but unrelated to Anunnaki. No one knows how, but he ended up selling game software in the ruins. You know the sort. Big attitude, but, se but seems to have lost the plot. <laughs> okay then. Can I climb with? Oh, yeah I can. Yeah, we do one my other. Like without fit. Oh, what the fuck are those? Invader Zims? Let's find out. A chaos spirit that crawled up from the underworld. As a group, they attacked the humans who served Urshikal. Urshikal, whatever. Former ruler of the underworld. F shut up. <laughs> Sending her back to the underworld. Okay then. Eglana ruins the Chari, prayer spot, a spot for offering prayer to the Lord of the Sky People, Anu. Yeah, that drawing indicates how you're supposed to pray. How do you do that, you might ask? Well, first, we need something to lean on, and then we need to unequip the gloves. 
Clever. Mhm. Mm Это все то. There is nothing here. Are you sure about that? It's flickering. to see they not need heed silly rules like <clears throat> yeah okay like you know what's passable terrain right little gremlins do your spot with that one cc Scary that we already got another one, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Give me cash. No cash, then give me what you got. I'll kick you in the balls. Ow. And there, I don't know if you noticed, but there was an actual animation for the kicking. <laughs> no, actually, I didn't spot that. That's disappointing. I'm telling the sprite. <laughs> <laughs> More importantly, yay! This is ancient chaos, the first land to fall under the sky people's dominion. Also, there's a tablet that we haven't read. Oh. <laughs> Real useful. Kind of already did. I should really be careful that golden thing down there is the kind that makes the I do the zappy zappy. <laughs> the zappy zappy. Yeah. Speaking of which, want to see an actual use for the rapier? Preventing myself from getting stabbed by the thing downstairs be below because, you know, now all of my weapons have a down attack. <laughs> mm. oh, also this. Yeah. Mm. Clever. Clever indeed. Until you land on a pile of enemies. Alright, weapon. The two blue beasts, if one is angered, one shall close. If both are angered, wisdom will be imparted. Oh my. So what's here? Angu. Our master is the Anunnaki king. He is Anu, who came from the skies. His majesty keeps him from being touched by grand dwellers. Okay, you can stay in your hole then. And at least back up there. We shall take. Oh, I can 
can't actually there. Player spot. How do you think we do that one? <laughs> Not sure. But more importantly. The Elfer spoke of the passage of the invisible, of what is known as Wind. Those who seek must speak the name of Binder. Finally! Let's Got go the heal. Wind one. Yep. There's two things we can do with that one actually. Yeah. Well, two things that I already have in mind at least. The first. Healing. Uh, yeah, we have a few minutes. Let's go open those right away. Earth, sun, moon, and sea. Yep. Wait. That's better. <laughs> that for thanks for saying them out loud. <laughs> You're welcome. I guess. Hey, what's Morberg up to? Good question. Corvette! <laughs> um. I wanna go check out Egypt. I wanna see Cambodia too. I got a feel of my homemade World War Inside stamp book. <laughs> I mean, she knows where she's most comfortable. Yeah? Apparently, apparently deep inside ancient ruins. So it would seem. Because when you're standing right behind a um, hostile entity, that's the perfect time to start making sushi. Yeah. That's one time I spoused after all. <laughs> that looks pretty. Also, um, just in case you're wondering. Hey! Jormungand. Oh boy. Hello, dead man. <laughs> that looks cool. It really does. One of the sons of the sixth children trickster. He has the unique ability to control an enormous serpentine war machine that no one else could use. A follower to none, he used the machine to cause vast destruction and was thus imprisoned in the bottom of the great conduit of the immortal battlefield. But it was. Fuck, okay, I had some cool, to cool toys. Mm hmm. And now to go all the way back down. To be to get to the other side. Beware the kraken. Yeah, it's fine. that for? Well, I have one... one use in mind right away. So yes, I can just... A battery that can provide energy to ancient ma ma machinery. Press the item button to use it. Uh, so I know I'm really fucking slow, mm -hmm. but it just, it just clicked with me that the uh, outfit we're currently, currently wearing is basically Baphomet. Yep. Mask and everything. Alright, this way. Speaking of new things... What the fuck are you? 
Oh, we all... We all are. A bird monster said to appear at Agalana's end. It summons the palpable rage that wafts throughout spiral hell, physically solidifying it into a giant fist which it releases from its mouth. Yalar exists to warn all who dwell in Eglana of the coming of the end. Yeah, but you know they switch region on this section yeah, of yes, the city. Yeah, spiral yeah. hell, I was about to say that. Yeah, that's where it tells you where the base is, because that room is named the Spirit Fortress. Anyway, now that that's open... I'll have an into the mix. It's almost like, you know, both puzzles are connected, given that, you know... Heaven's Labyrinth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a complicated enough puzzle that they needed to give plenty of hints. Somebody yeah. take the lightning rod away from the monkey. Stop the monkey. Anyway, once again to the where am I? This is where. And this is where. Ow. Cog of Antiquity acquired. I've been wanting to guess this thing for so long. So as the last thing for this episode. We're going to use the Cog of Antiquity. Not in the Hell of Malice, fuck no. Oh, You don't want to suffer horribly? Not yet. An artifact that appears to be some kind of ancient Cog. Press the item button to slot it in its rightful place. Because there was one other place we could place this in. And it's been a while <laughs> since we've seen it. No, I don't want, actually. We defeated one of Ratatos course here. This is ah. called the Pit of Time. Oh boy. It's an elevator! <laughs> I probably don't need to say it, but don't go read the skeleton. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of obvious now that I'm looking at it. The young need to escape, there lies a tool to latch onto walls. On the path between searing lands and the frozen, no shade. Oh, right. Oh well. I just go back up. So it's an elevator to an area we've already been mostly. Yes, but actually no, because we can also do this. Oh, fair enough. Lamp of time. Lamp of Acquired. Time. Let's charge it. Now we just need to use it to charge it. Very convenient. And of course we got a message about it. <laughs> That's the lamp of time. It's kind of like a super item. Blow out the flame and you can stop time for 10 seconds. If it hasn't been lit, you can use the candlestick of time to light the flame. 
It will stop enemies and pretty much anything else. Wonder if it will stop me too. If an enemy is too tough, it might not work on them. Let's screw around with it, okay? Look who's talking. We all know what he would use it for. Yep. Anyway, I hope you'll have fun. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Lighters.